Hi, I'm Rose Liu and I'm a lead development engineer at Tintree. Today we'll explore the power of having visibility across the virtual infrastructure at the virtual machine granularity. Traditional storage provide visibility at the LUN and volume granularities because they cannot distinguish between the IOs of the different virtual machines provisioned on the same volume. And there can be potentially tens to hundreds of virtual machines on the same volume. Tintree can distinguish between the IOs of each and every virtual machine, allowing us to provide VM level statistics, which is best suited for virtualized environments. In this video, we'll explore how Tintree's per VM statistics can help drastically simplify performance debugging. Let's take a look. Here, we have opened the Tintree Global Center, which allows us to manage over 600 VMs across eight different Tintree storage appliances. Let's say I want to see if there are potentially any VMs suffering from latency issues. To do this, we can view all VMs from the Virtual Machines tab. and sort the VMs by latency. OK, something is going on. We have many VMs experiencing high I.O. latency, many above 20 milliseconds per I.O. on average. Let's pick one of the VMs with the highest latency and investigate the cause. So let's pick Tintree Demo PDT-820-01. Hovering over the latency bar, we see a breakdown of the latency. Before we take a closer look at these values, let's go over some concepts. Host latency refers to the time spent in the hypervisor host, such as the time after the VM submits the I.O. before the hypervisor sends it to storage, and after the hypervisor receives the I.O. response from storage before the VM gets it. Network latency refers to the time sending and receiving the storage I.O. requests over the network. Storage latency refers to the time it takes for the storage to process the I.O. requests. This is further broken down into subcomponents. As you can see for this VM, the majority of the latency is coming from the host. So we know that network and storage is functioning fine. Now let's take a look at the vCenter to see what's going on with this host. So we can easily find out who the vCenter is by looking under membership. And here we see that the vCenter is PD vCenter Prod Demo. So let's go there. Here, we're looking at the vCenter and we're looking at the view of our VM. Here, this is showing the resources for this VM. And it's interesting, this VM shows about 1.2 gigabytes of balloon memory and non-zero swap memory. This could be the cause for the VM being slow to receiving its IOs. So we'll fix that later. Now let's take a look at a second VM and see what the latency issue is. So in the second VM, let's pick this one. Here we see that the main latency component is throttle, giving about 25.9 milliseconds. Now we know that this is expected if someone has set up a QoS policy to limit the maximum IOPS of this VM. Let's double check that we do indeed have a QoS policy set. So looking down here, we can see, yes, indeed, there is a QoS policy set capping this VM's IOPS at 1,000 normalized IOPS. And that's it. Tintree's per VM latency breakdowns help us quickly identify the latency causing component in the virtual infrastructure for each VM. If you'd like to learn more about Tintree's VM-aware data management features, please check out our other videos. Thank you for watching.